that's a greeting if I've ever heard, heard one. Hey everyone, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. As Melly pretends to be a Turkin Queen. <laughs> or Ch Chilkin Queen, whichever, whichever way it works. In the last episode, we looked around Car at Chronicle 6 and discovered more stories about love. In this episode, we are going to be surrounding ourselves with, with the elegant Empress herself, Me Melia. And with her cohort, Shulk Boy and Ricky Pon. <laughs> but anyway, uh, starting off, we skipped over this, but I don't think Melia deserves anything less than a hot spring in a cold, cold mountain. That's a little, that's a little bit weird, but hey, it's Xenoblade and nothing but scenic views for this princess. <laughs> anyway, let's have a chat, shall we? Let's see Ricky relax in the cold, cold, cold water. Heart to heart. A snowy hot spring. Ricky, got a second? I wanted to ask you something. Ricky, what are, what are you doing? Ricky love hot water. Oh, no pun love hot spring. <laughs> Take a no pun smile. Oh. Right, gotcha. The water as is kind of chilly though. Not too hot, not too cold. My mistake, I thought it just looked cold. Ricky look across snowy hills and enjoy hot water. It perfect chilk. I don't really see the appeal, but if you like it, that's cool. Shulk, jump in water too! You want me to join you in there? Otherwise Shulk never know how good hot spring is. I guess you're right. Do not worry Shulk, Shulk will like water same as Ricky. <laughs> oh crap! <laughs> da! Are the guys blown him away? Time for me to make a, a run for it. Sorry, sorry, Ricky. <laughs> Everyone, make a run for it. And Ricky's dead. <sighs> and all, all we have left is a Ricky ghost. Mm -hmm. A hot and cold Ricky ghost, but a Ricky ghost not, nonetheless. Ah. But Ricky's nose not stop running. That can't be good for you, Ricky. Better beg it out why you can't. If Ricky leave hot spring now, or Ricky too cold. Stop acting like a kid, Ricky. Ricky not child. Ricky 40 years old this year. Show just a little pawn. Sorry, 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 Ricky. But you're right. Ricky sometimes act like a little pawn. Oh no. Our guy's blown him away. I'm starting to wonder if Ricky's lying about his age. <laughs> oh well, he's dead. <sighs> Heartbreaking and bone breaking. Anyway though, as we make our exit to Valley Mountain, we want to clock something in before we leave. That being the first, well, one, uh, one the first initiative. Initial side quests that we ever got. <laughs> Unless you want to do some, uh, something first, Alice. There is a location here in Valk Mountain that I would want to clock in, but there is also a side quest, but I want—I was heading for that way, but I was going the wrong way. <laughs> Efficiency! No, and our, and our researcher, we got your back. Nice work! Took you long enough, <laughs> now this mountain a bit safer, even though we killed, you know, Antors and Chilgers already. We <laughs> killed the bosses. <laughs> so this is kind of a downgrade. Now, no problem for us to do our research. Hooray! <laughs> Here, this thank you present from us. And by us, I mean me. He gives a spike defense, shield defense, and paralysis defense. All not, all not bad. All that's going to waste. <laughs> we shall amend this going for forward, but just so you know, it's right there. <laughs> and two up for Valak Mountain, or Upper Bionis. Hello, 
It's you again. You know why we need help this time. I wonder why. <laughs> why, you no know, know? Nah, never mind. We want you to help with our research. Go to place with good view and tell us what you think. It's too dangerous for Nopa to go to high place with wind and snow. There are two places we want you to go to. Bifalga Pedestal and Canna Peak. Just investigate view from there. Then come back and tell us what we like. How about it? Do we have a choice? No. <laughs> and we get a chill defense 5, so that is as useful in these cli climates, but hey ho. I think I might want to do that one, considering how I want to show how you get to Canna Peak. <laughs> Let us do that right now. It's almost like we, ha uh, we have this plan, plan down to a science. <laughs> and totally not, not blind, blind, blind luck. Totally not that. But here we are at the at the first peak, which we have already clocked in, and I've said beforehand, but I'll say it again. This in HD, yeah. God, I cannot wait. <laughs> what a beautiful sight. Mm -hmm. I stamped the snow. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Shouldn't make those sounds in no context. <laughs> Very awkward. <laughs> I apologize to our children viewers. All one of you. <laughs> they probably left after we kept making fun of kids. And up on hats. Yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> now. If we were to just look on the map briefly. Normally when we've seen examples of this, i.e. i.e. the bionic leg with little nubs of land going absolutely nowhere, mm -hmm. this is the exception. If you follow if you follow this line, which is a ver ver very perilous, you'll see that this is the place that we need to go uh, go to. Thankfully, there aren't, uh, there aren't any enemies blocking your way or risking shitting you off. This is simply all down to you and your coordination of skills. And, and Xenoblade being a platformer, that's a challenge in of itself. But, if we have a look around, Not that we can see much from the, uh, this angle, but it definitely covers a great deal. Mm -hmm. Personally, I prefer the view from the pedestal, but that is my personal preference. I actually prefer the view from up here. You do? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I guess I can understand that as well. Because the pedestal has archway blocking the way. I can see that, and you get a much better view of, of Osei Tower, mm -hmm. I will admit. So you know what? I changed my mind. I agree. It's been a while since I've uh, been up here. And again, there's one of the beauty about second, third, fourth, fifth, a hundred playthroughs of this game. You always come back to, uh, to realize that things are different than what you thought, or thought they were. Mm-hmm. And you can learn to appreciate things a lot more than what uh, what you used to. Or you could just learn to hate other things. Like that will show Shulk's AI. <laughs> hate, 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 hate. Yeah. At least they're fol at least they're following a single line. At least the AI is able to coordinate itself that that way. <laughs> Good for you, Shulk boy. You learn. You learn how to walk. You can't fight for sh you can't fight for crap, but still. <laughs> you went. You still alive? Which place had best view? We need to know. Important for next study. Hmm. Interesting. Well, or not on going to die. <laughs> so, is that what you really think? Okay. Good opinion sample. We really are grateful for your help. In case you're wondering, this, um, your choice, it doesn't matter whatsoever. It's just a personal preference that you wish to make. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now let us do some maintenance. Maintenance done. 
<laughs> and upping Infinity. And now, before we leave, let's clock in another place in which is important to the Battle of the Maconis, found by Ionis. I just springboarded off a nebula. Nice. <laughs> and one last place of interest we haven't really been been to yet is re has recently been a topic of discussion. Welcome everyone to not really a massive area, but still big a big one. No, nah, nonetheless. The Bionis right elbow. This to me has got me me talking because it makes me wonder. We've got to get to the shoulder in in a definitive edition somehow. Mm -hmm. It makes me wonder how are they going to go about doing that? Are we gonna have one that goes from uh, from here upwards? Is it gonna be something where a uh, uh, travel to Alchemov towards? Or, or or any other for method of transportation. All I know is, is we are avoiding that guy like the plague because he's very, <laughs> very defensive of his apis friends. <laughs> and also and also that water deposit and what the hell happened to that ex? <laughs> did, did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's being he's being knocked away by the Mora Moras. <laughs> Dunk. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> he's reacting to it. He's very pissed. What happens? No, oh, he's too high. <laughs> no wait, no wait, no wait, wait, no wait. He's coming back, and hey, wait, where to go? <laughs> Damn you and your changing flight path! <laughs> Screwing up our comedy. How dare you? <laughs> I just look forward to how they implement the uh, new and uh, new shoulder in the definitive edition. But you know what? That's just me. Mm -hmm. I look forward to every iota of it. <laughs> every iota. Makes me wonder if we're going to see extra things like maybe the other Bionis' leg or something like that. Who knows? Because <laughs> they've only shown the shoulder in the cutscene. They, what's stopping them from creating new things? Mm -hmm. The Bionis' uh, neck. <laughs> the, bi uh, the Bionis' foot. The Bionis' toe. Ah <laughs> oh, yes, the Bionis pinky. That's what I'd love to see. <laughs> and nothing else below the waist, please. <laughs> nothing else. I think the swamp is at the waist. <laughs> That's the Bionis ass. <laughs> I don't want to see the other end. That's all I'll say. <laughs> but now, oh, guess what? Your crown empress has returned. And guess what? It's no longer raining. So Melly can rest uh, <laughs> again, be peaceful, knowing that her capital isn't spitting on her. <laughs> Figuratively and physically via the weather. Mm -hmm. And our Empress has duties to attend to, one of which I putting another guard that fat ease, wherever the chat may, may, uh, may be. Because <laughs> The hoes have been killed, so we need to tell him the job has been done, and the killing has been made. <laughs> but before we go back to, I guess this could say now, our throne room. <laughs> so we, as we can tell, a Callion to move because we are doing a-okay. Unless he's not actually here, in which case, oh god, that's awkward. <laughs> nope, that random guard on the left is king, somehow. But I'm not going to chastise on who appointed who. <laughs> All I know is, we are we we are empress now, and I and I decree that we talk to the man named Shulk. Don't question it. So close, yet so far. Please ignore the naked man in the royal court. <laughs> I would, I, I would have never guessed you were a princess, Mel Melia. Look at my abs. I'm sorry I hid it from you. I was waiting for the right time to tell you, but it never came. I should have figured it out from the way you dress. 
I dress differently to other girls. It's not a bad thing. Really? That is quite a relief. I don't really know what others girls wear, so I was worried. Clothes really aren't that important, as you can <laughs> see by me. I like you just the way where you are. You could be a princess, a pauper, or even a crazy Z alien world. If you were From... a pop if you were pauper, you can get me a cup. And I'd love that. I'm looking at her going, <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, on that topic, I'll still be your friend. I always would be your shirtless, ab-wearing friend. Keep talking like that. You'll be back in my good books. But I do wonder what it'd be like if I were not a princess. Nothing would change. I suppose not. I would most likely still have met all of you and traveled with you. But I don't know, Shulk. Sometimes I look at everyone and I get very jealous. You do? Why? Everyone is so ease with each other. They get to be themselves. I was brought up as a member of the high anti imperial family. But you're not stuck in this stuff for free pals anymore. You're, uh, you're free now. So go on. Show it off. <laughs> Shulk! Shulk! <laughs> Think about where you are and who <laughs> you, you're talking to and guards pointing their pointy sticks at you. <laughs> yeah, go on, show it off. Do something really crazy. Strip. I'm just going to say, <laughs> say it outright. Internet, you are welcome. <laughs> It'll be our secret. Show, that's not helping. You mean right now in front of you? No, I'm too embarrassed. I can't. Please don't make me shulk. <laughs> You don't have to. It's fine. You'll do it later. <laughs> but give us a four. Four for what? I shall take your advice into consideration. And maybe one day you will see me do something crazy. <laughs> Joke! <laughs> Think of what you're asking. <laughs> okay, yes, I know. We kind of forced it upon it, making Joke look, look at that. But you, but, uh, but you get my point. <laughs> clothes or no clothes. What Joke was asking, like, Melia, take off your clothes. Do it in front of me. It's all right. <laughs> I'm doing it. I feel fine. <laughs> Good freaking lord. <laughs> Shulk quickly gets dressed for the royal guard show up. <laughs> Smart boy. Smart boy. <laughs> and now coming from at that heart to heart with questionable context. <laughs> Involving a certain lad next to me, whom whose clothes may may or may not imparted. We have a solution. Thank you so much for carrying out the mission, our place. I cannot thank you enough. I had pro I had a proper talk with La 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 Shen since we last spoke. I told him about how you were taking care of the missions for us. He finally saw how much trouble he she has been causing. He even ignored that he had been pushing himself too hard. It's all thanks to you, fine be people and princess. <laughs> this is for your trouble. Please take it. No. <laughs> we took care of the gods while... While they they were in pain, while we were getting um, chatted up, shall we say, by a certain boy with a certain sword. Mm -hmm. No, not that one. <laughs> anyway, we will call things things here, guys. So, as always, thank you for watching. And if you like the video, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, be sh ain't no ain't no to go. And if you want to see more content like this. Be sure to subscribe for more Naked Choke shenanigans. <laughs> if I can even call it that. <laughs> or just perv Choke in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Dunban and Fjord will give him a good slap after this. Yeah. <laughs> if Fjord ever finds out. <laughs> See you next time, guys.